The state opened its latest Kauhale today, the third within the past year. Our Kristen Concilio was at the blessing as Governor Josh Green welcomed the first resident of the new homeless village. Life hasn't been easy for Laura Mae Duclean, who's lived without a home for the past four years. They just sweeping us and telling us we gotta just keep moving with all our belongings. Everybody's struggling and but I got tired of that. Duke Land's the first resident of the newest Kauhale on Middle Street in Kalihi, the third to open within the past year. My new home, shelter. This is about treating people with dignity. The homeless village is part of Governor Josh Green's ambitious plan to reduce homelessness by half and help people transition from the streets into long-term housing while addressing their physical and mental health care needs. This is a mission, but it is a movement to create a health care system for those who have been living without a roof over their head. And this health care system includes housing. Housing is health care. The moment you provide housing for an individual, their health improves very dramatically. The Kahale will have housing for at least 50 people at a time, with restrooms, shower trailers, a laundry facility, office space, and 24-hour security. Green says the federal government's now allowing the state to use Medicaid dollars to pay for housing because people who are housed are healthier and struggling less with chronic pain and addiction. The next Kauhale is set for Evile. This is a new chapter, a very new chapter where I don't know what is yet to come, but I know I'm, I need, need it for something. By the grace of God, I believe I was saved. The governor has promised to open at least a dozen Kauhale in the next year. Kristen Concilio, Island News.